Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today I'll be showing you how to enable a VPN on your Chrome browser so that you browse the internet freely and privately without seeing ads, trackers, or annoying pop-ups, or have your ISP monitor what you're doing online. Now, of course, choosing the right extension is the most popular step here, which is why I've tested all the top VPN extensions on the market, and I've narrowed it down to ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark as the overall best. And that's because these are the fastest, most secure VPNs on the market, and their Chrome extensions were the best at blocking ads, pop-ups and trackers while I was testing them. And so I'll be showing you how to activate these extensions and I'll also be talking about what I like about each of these VPNs to help you choose the one that works best for you. And of course, if you'd like to check out these VPNs for yourself, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as full reviews in the description down below. All right, so starting with ExpressVPN, to activate the Chrome extension, you're gonna need to go to the official ExpressVPN page, hover over Download VPN and click on Chrome VPN extension. This will take you to the extension page right here. So click on Download VPN extension, which will take you to the Chrome extension store, and then click on Add to Chrome, which will start the download. Now, once the VPN is downloaded, click on the extension icon on the top right, click on Express, and from there, you can either get a subscription if you're new to Express, or sign in using your ExpressVPN app if you already have a subscription. And then to finalize the process, click on Login, which will open your ExpressVPN app to automatically authenticate your account and log in. And that's pretty much it for installing ExpressVPN. Now, as far as NordVPN goes, it's gonna be the exact same process as ExpressVPN, which is go to the website, hover over Get VPN, click on the Chrome extension icon, click on Get Chrome extension, and then add to Chrome. But the only difference between the two is that as far as logging in, you can both create an account or log into your existing account using the Nord website, instead of having to open the app to log in as you would normally do with ExpressVPN. All right, now moving on to Surfshark. This is the only extension here that you can use for free to some extent. Obviously, you're gonna need a subscription to access the VPN portion of the extension, but if you wanna browse the internet without seeing any ads or trackers or cookie pop-ups, the extension has this free feature called Clean Web which is perfect for this. Now, it might not be as powerful of an ad blocker as Nord's Threat Protection or ExpressVPN's Threat Manager, but it's fantastic if you want an extension that blocks ads and trackers for free. Okay, so to activate the Surfshark extension, you're gonna need to go to surfshark.com forward slash download forward slash Chrome. Click on Download Extension, which would take you to the Chrome Extension Store, and then click on Add to Chrome. And then once the extension is downloaded, click on its icon, which will take you to the Surfshark login page. And here, either log in or create an account to activate the extension. All right, now that the extension is activated, click on the bottom icon on the sidebar of the extension that says Clean Web, and then click Turn On to activate the Clean Web feature. And that's pretty much how you can enable these three VPNs on your Chrome browser. Personally speaking, I prefer to use the app itself because you'd be protecting your whole online activity regardless of whether you're using Chrome, Firefox, Edge, or whatever browser you prefer using. And this includes any torrenting software or streaming app that you have on your device as all three VPNs allow you to stream and torrent freely without any bandwidth limitations whatsoever. Now let me briefly go over what I like about all three of these VPNs to help you choose the one that works best for you. Starting with Express, this is gonna be the best performing, easiest to use, and most secure VPN on this list. It has the most verified no logs policy due to an incident back in 2017, where the Turkish government seized one of their servers as part of an investigation, only to find nothing on that server. Express is also the fastest when it comes to connecting and disconnecting from servers, and while other VPNs take several seconds, Express does it in less than a second. By the way, speaking of servers, Express has over 3,000 servers in 105 countries, and this huge amount of locations will allow you to access more content globally. So ultimately, Express is the overall best choice if you're looking for an easy to use plug and play VPN as it stays away from the more advanced settings that don't interest most beginners and intermediate users. You just open the app, connect to a server, and that's about it. Now this does mean that it doesn't have a lot of bonus features like specialty servers and MeshNet, for example, but it does have all the essentials like a kill switch, plenty of servers that are optimized for all uses, split tunneling, and top of the line protocols. And so it's a high performance VPN with a strong emphasis on security as well as ease of use. And I would especially recommend it if you're a privacy conscious individual. Next up, we have NordVPN, which is gonna be the most value VPN on this list. When it comes to speed, Nord is the fastest out of the three VPNs thanks to its Nord Links protocol, which makes it a very good option for streaming, gaming, and torrenting. Nord also has the largest list of countries out of all three VPNs, as it has over 6,300 servers in 111 different countries, which again will give you access to a lot of content. Besides that, you'll also get a lot of bonus features like an app kill switch on top of the conventional kill switch, threat protection that blocks ads and malware, and a bunch of specialty servers like Onion over VPN, Double VPN, and P2P servers. And so if you're looking for the fastest, best value VPN that has a lot of bonus features and options that you don't get with Express, go with Nord. And lastly, we have Surfshark, which is gonna be the best budget option out of the three. 
The thing is, despite being so affordable, Surfshark does not sacrifice security or performance to cut costs, and it also offers a bunch of bonus features. Now, although it's typically not as fast as Norden Express, it's still really fast and outperforms most VPNs on the market. Besides that, Surfshark will allow you to secure an unlimited number of devices with one subscription, as opposed to Nord's 10 device limit, and ExpressVPN's 8 device limit. So it's basically the best option if you're looking for a fast, low budget VPN that is consistent at accessing FanDuel, and the cherry on top is that you can share it with your friends and family. Again, this is just a brief overview of the VPNs, so if you'd like to know more about the pros and cons of each, you can check out the in-depth reviews in the description below. And that'll be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the links in the description to grab yourself the best discounts possible. And if you want to know more about these VPNs with regards to privacy policy, speed, streaming, and torrenting abilities, as well as security and features, you'll also find some in-depth reviews there as well. Besides that, like and subscribe to see more of these videos, and let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.